Right guys, welcome down to the review of my first comeback of 2018. So I played in the Lumina Pro-Am and this is basically the evening after the round and I think this video will probably go out on Saturday because I've just not had time to actually get back and upload this video in time because the round today took so long, it is unbelievable. And there was a delay because of frost which I really didn't expect. So we've got like this, um, just focus. So we've got this barbecue thing tonight. So I'm gonna do the recap while going to the barbecue and whilst basically meeting with everyone. I think the minibus will be waiting about now. Everyone's here. Looking lovely. <laughs> this looks lovely. <laughs> so this is the uh, barbecue which is going on tonight. Oh, can't quite see it. Hang on, let me zoom out. That's the meat which is on offer, which I won't be eating. So these are charred on the barbecue, these spring onions, and you, you basically strip them, dip them, and dunk them. <laughs> That is the most unattractive thing ever to appear on the channel. And that is saying something. <laughs> How's that, Joe? Is that alright, mate? Yeah, it's alright, yeah, it's alright. Just... Uh... Just stepped outside. Amazing evening here. I tell you what, this is the Paddle Club here in Cambrils, and it's always oh, Cambrilles. Not entirely sure how you pronounce it. I've heard a lot of different pronunciations so far, but it's it's fantastic, and the food has been absolutely brilliant. I'm just going to come out here by the barbecues and talk you through my round. I'm going to sit by the fire and I'll warm myself up. So let's have a look. So I shot 75 today, uh, so that's four over par, and in in hindsight, I think that's actually not too bad of a score. You know, it's my first comeback in a while. Struck the ball okay, but I can't help but be disappointed because I actually started really, really well. So I was one under on the front nine. I'll just get my scorecard up here. So I was one under on the front and actually playing and putting pretty well. Um, I had a birdie on the second, really good putt. Uh, bogey on the third, bad short putt, which was the theme, I'll get onto that in a moment. A couple of really good birdies, bad bogey on a par three. But I was holding it together, I was playing pretty steady, I felt quite comfortable generally with my swing and with everything. Apart from, I've got a little really odd colour here, I'm sat under a strange street light. Um, but my short, short putt, so I missed three of three putts, I think, on the front nine, which were definitely makeable. But then again, I hold two or three putts which were like really good so it kind of evened itself out and generally I was going into the back nine really excited and then getting onto the back nine made a terrible bogey on 10 awful wedge shot into a green um, hit a brilliant chip missed like a three foot putt so it's just a bit here there and everywhere but my stats my strokes gained again with my putting very very good my approach play my driving not as good as it needed to be um, I had a decent warm-up um, and I'll do a little montage in a moment just to break the video up but swing-wise feeling good, uh, swing-wise is feeling good, chipping feeling pretty good but certainly on some of the shorter putts I felt, I don't want to smell a smoke, uh, certainly on some of the shorter putts I felt very, I felt very nervous in many respects, obviously not quite used to competition pressure just yet but out of the 18 people who are playing in the comp from the pro side. I am tied ninth, so middle of the pack. Um, a lad who's at dinner tonight actually shot uh, four under today, which is a really good score. Like the temperature was cold and the course was playing tough in the wind. So if I'd have shot two under today, I think that was within my capabilities after that front line. Um, but any lower than that would have been a, a fantastic round. So I'll just have a little bit more of a look through, but I'll also play my little warm up now as well.
right guys, good morning. It's the day of the second day of the Pro-Am. Um, I'm up pretty early, uh, didn't manage to get this edited and finished last night. The party last night, uh, it didn't last too late, so I got to bed before 12, which was great. It was a fantastic, fantastic evening. I did eat too many of those spring onions, though. I'm feeling a little bit, uh, a little bit funny in my belly this morning. And I just wanted to just have a quick recap of the stats again, because the proximity to the hole that I was actually getting the ball with my approach play, and that again was the area of my game where I lost the most strokes against the field, that's what needs to improve. Now today we're playing the uh, hills course rather than the lakes course. Now the hills course, very, very different design. So much more tree-lined, shorter, but that doesn't make it necessarily easy. It actually probably makes it tougher because on the lakes you can spray it a little bit with the driver and still get away with it because there's not much rough. Now there's not much rough on the hills course, there's trees. <laughs> um, and once you get in the trees around here, you ain't gonna get out of them. So it's really on that part of the game that I need to be focusing on. I'm just trying to get that ball on the green um, and try and get it close to the hole because I wasn't hitting it too badly. I don't think my swing on the course versus off the course was um, anywhere near what it needs to be just yet. So the swing I've been working on with Dan, it's definitely going better and I feel better. But it does need that little bit more work, that little bit more time to bed in. So I'm going to go out there, play with what I've got, and see where that leaves me at the end of the day. I'm tying ninth at the moment. Um, Jesper, who was at the meal last night as well, who's four under. That was a brilliant score yesterday, a really good score. And he's now four in the lead, he's four clear. But I'm only four shots off second place. So that's what I'm going to try and do, just try and edge up that leaderboard and see where it leaves me all right guys thank you so so much for watching uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already follow me on my other social media platforms as well of course here has been fantastic so far and the hospitality has been amazing as well all i need now is just a little bit more time to edit stuff and i'm good all right guys we'll see you tomorrow with the next recap